I had not long gotten up and let me tell you I always do my videos when I am being pushed or divinely guided and um, many times when I do the videos I'm cautiously sharing information because one thing that I never want to do is be one to even if it's unintentional promote fear but it is that time that I share with you guys the nuts and bolts behind why most people still cannot astral project or really perceive anything beyond what we have been told and programmed to believe are our only five senses. First of all, I often use metaphors to describe the nature of consciousness and how we flow within this particular construct but in essence we are a term that I've never used in my videos but I've been saying it for years we are electromagnetic beings of light our electromagnetic energy is a frequency I always say this all the time everything is frequency however most of us are more wired and connected and aware of the physical vessel which has been genetically compromised by the very same intelligences that are ruling this planet as we speak. These intelligences have been in positions of power to bring about and to manipulate us into bringing about a favorable reality that suits them more so than us. Hence, their heaven is our hell. So what I'm ultimately saying is that what we see in terms of reality is socially engineered. It is socially engineered by way of electromagnetic energy. The frequencies that we cannot see that are emitting from the cell phones, the satellites, the chemicals in our food. I had mentioned earlier uh, uh, about uh, eight videos back about the reason for the fast food industry being open 24-7. It is because the intelligences that are governing this planet is aware of the higher frequencies that are coming in. So what are they doing or what they think they're doing in terms of stopping the elevation in consciousness? They are elevating what has been keeping us unconscious. So the dense heavy red meats and the burgers and the pork and the fried and the cook and the chemicals and the preservatives that they put in that stuff is more accessible to us 24 7 not because so much it's all about making money it is to keep you unconscious in contrast to the elements that are coming in to try to make you conscious the other element that contributes to our collective unconsciousness in this regard is fear. The mass media and even organized religion is focused more on fear. A lot of people run the church and going to get salvation not because they want love and want to exalt love and be loved. They're going there for fear of going to hell. For fear of disappointing uh, their customs for fear of, of disrupting culture fear of letting their parents down fear of not being accepted So those minions or beings who are cloaked as humans have been birthed in every single facet 
of society. It doesn't matter whether you live in the ghettos or you live in the suburbs, if you live in North America, South America, it does not matter. The true enemy of humanity, which is a state of consciousness, of beings who are one with a particular state of consciousness, have placed and have been birthed everywhere there is a war to be won. Why? Because to win any battle, you need to have your soldiers placed on all of the fronts where the war is needed to be won. In conjunction to everything that I've said, we are being bombarded with low vibratory energy in cosmetics, in our drugs, in our air, our water, in pesticides, things put in the foods, our fears, our negative thoughts, beliefs that we've accepted without question, which is usually of the minds of those who were thought to have been gods, which are the same intelligences that I'm talking about. <clears throat> when you strip it down to the bare nuts and bolts. The reason why most of society is unconscious is because we are basically being thrown in a toxic soup of anti-vibrational electromagnetic energy in waves that keeps us imprisoned, enslaved, blind, confused, and for lack of a better word, Degenerate. It is no coincidence that we have a culture that loves gossip and loves to see people fall, love violence, love excessive lustful sex, and it's all about pushing the envelope and getting the next thrill by way of enjoying and wallowing and reveling in extreme negativity. Why is that? Because you have been trained and programmed to do this so that you keep your, your invisible bars up. This is not a conspiracy theory. This is an agenda. And if people would take their blinders off and simply look at the world and look at how it's been for so very long and consider the fact that things have just gotten really out of hand, you will then see, clear as day, that there is some serious, serious manipulation and negativity going on. And you don't have to be highly awakened to see this. The occult simply means things that are hidden. And one of the reasons why we suffer is because we lack knowledge. Again, another universal truth, one of the truths that Christians talk about all the time, or even uh, many religions talk about, we do suffer for lack of knowledge. But why don't we have the knowledge? Because it is hidden. So when you are open to your true nature, you are able to access that information without the middleman or a middleman who is usually one with the same consciousness that's keeping you in a state of fear and toxicity, which ultimately keeps you blind and unable to astral travel to get the information firsthand, which keeps you blind to seeing a deceptive politician when he's before you or those that are so-called smiling in our face and pretending to be leaders. If you were one with your internal GPS, you could see those people for who they are and you would not give them your power. But again, that's why they want to keep you unconscious so that you cannot do these things and so that they can continue to keep their illusion and their matrix strong and in rare form. This is very deep. The rabbit hole is deep. I know it's hard for a lot of us to accept, but it is what it is.